There's a simple way that you can share your faith on Sundays um, or any day during the week. And it's combining a picture with a short paragraph. The picture must support the paragraph's story and the paragraph must support what the picture is saying. Um, so what you can do is, first of all, you go to where it says what's on your mind. Then you type a short paragraph and end with an open-ended question or a question that is not yes or no. You definitely want to be engaging your audience. You don't want to just be preaching and not reaching. So now that you typed your short paragraph, what you would do is you would hit photo video. Now you can upload a personal video to this that's from your own desktop. Um, but for the simplicity of today's lesson, what you would do is you would just pick a picture that you like, add it to it, And then what you would do is you would then hit edit if you wanted to add words to it. So you've got here, you've got all these different um, things you can do to the picture. You've got edit, you've got the text you can add. Just simply hit text and it'll just begin typing here. On your tablet and phone, it's a lot easier to move the text around to different parts of the picture. On my desktop, it doesn't, it, it's a little more difficult for some reason. Um, and then when you're done, you hit save. Here is privacy settings. So be discerning. Some things you share, you only want to share to your family or friends. So then you want to hit just friends. But what if there's some people that you don't allow in as friends, but you're okay with them following your posts, your public posts on Facebook? Well, you just hit this and change it to public. And then you go ahead and hit post. And once you hit post, You've just shared a story. And that's what this is. This is all about sharing a story and sharing your faith, asking questions, and getting involved. Remember that as a church body using social media, it's not self serving, it's about serving others online. So get involved, gift people with comments. Pray for them. Let them know you're praying for them, either publicly or privately. Send a private message to them asking how they've been doing. These are all different ways you can serve online.